Hi guys, what's up? Um, camera's up there, but my screen's here, so I'm going to be looking down here. Might be a bit off-putting. Uh, what I'm going to do now is show you how to get a camera like this in OBS. I'm using OBS right now. Um, I'm trying to show, think of the best way to show this. If I go to here, I'll to add global. Let's just go monitor capture okay okay whoa let's just order that to the bottom so you can see I'm using using OBS um, for this hopefully um, I mean it looks quite strange I'm using OBS and also another program called uh, SparkoCam uh, really easy to set up um, Spyco cam unless you want a watermark on your video you are going to have to buy a license for I think it's about £35 so it's quite expensive but it does make well it's better that I'm using my Canon Rebel Ti2 or 600D or whatever whatever it's called in the UK I'm not not too sure I've got the um, American version for some reason um, but yeah it's super easy to set up so basically what you have to do is you have to download the Sparco cam program um, once you've done that um, you just open it up, plug your camera in, it will automatically recognize it. Um, uh, if I show you here, it says uh, Canon EOS Rebel Ti2. Um, you can take pictures with it. I've got it on manual, um, so this is what my video is looking like. It looks a bit grainy at the moment, um, but that's just because of how dark it is. If I've got my two, I've got two windows here and here. If I have both of those open, then the video quality increases uh, dramatically. Um, but yeah, so then once you've done that, um, you got you you open up uh, Sparko Cam. You've got your camera sorted. Um, a little setting that you might want to change in this is because because the um, this is what it would look like to start with. Um, so it'd be letterbox because you're getting it off the camera's display, and most DSLR cameras don't have a 16 by 9 display on the back. So what you have to do is just go into settings and change it to pan and scan, and that just basically. Um, makes it look a lot lot better so well, it just zooms you in slightly so it crops the edges um, but then once you've done that the setup in there you go into OBS as if you're gonna and you go um, to add a and it would be a um, video capture device so I've already set one up and you just go device selection and Sparco cam video source um, and once you've done that if you used OBS before you know it's perfect you don't have to have this ticked I don't know why I do um, but yeah, looks absolutely wonderful as you can see. Don't know what that little flash was there. Also, I've just realized I haven't actually showed you it. So, let me actually show you what you do. You go, so what you do is you go, if you wanted to set, set one up and you haven't used a, cam bef a camera before, you'd go right click on your on your scene that you want to add it to. So, I'll just add it to the game. I'm not actually going to do it. You go add and then you go video capture device there. Um, and then once you've done that, all you've got to do so. I'll go on to that um, and then you get you come up with this window here you choose Sparco cam video source and you're pretty much sorted so this is quite a nice guide I hope on how to um, use a DSLR instead of a crappy webcam because um, hopefully you can tell I mean even in low low light which is what's going on at the moment this DSLR looks absolutely wonderful I want to get a couple of light boxes like a thousand watts worth of light boxes uh, and then hopefully it'll look a lot lot nicer one thing to note is using Sparco there is a slight delay um, on the video source so easiest way to get around that is if you just go into your settings in OBS uh, go to audio and then add a mic sync offset and I found about 200 milliseconds is about right but you, it might be a bit more might be a bit less you can probably gauge it from me speaking now um, if I clap that will be a pretty definite so I'll clap and that will tell you you know that's the best way to set it up. I haven't done that. I just chose 200 because I thought it looked about right. Um, but the clap will probably be way out now. Anyway, I've spoken for far too long. Um, I hope you enjoy this video on how to set it up. Super, super easy and it looks super good. Um, before I go, one accessory you might want to buy, if you're using a Canon camera at least, I know they exist, is basically um, it looks like a, a battery but it clicks directly into the main so you don't have to keep charging your batteries up for your uh, DSLR and you can run it directly off the mains for hours so as long as you're streaming basically. Um, in regards to sensors overheating, if your sensor is going to overheat, your camera will automatically shut down, um, which is obviously great um, because you won't have any damage to camera. I was recording for an hour earlier and I didn't have the sensor um, shut down on me. 
normally what it is that um, overheats is the battery, but obviously if you're using um, a, a, a power supply, that won't be an issue anyway. Okay guys, so if you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more, or maybe want to see some gaming on the channel, then uh, click subscribe. And if you've got any questions about the setup or anything like that, uh, just leave a comment below, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Cheers, I'm Sam Bella. Uh, thanks for watching.